All right, Ugh, I'm stretching. Welcome back. This is April Ray with the Introvert Mogul Studios. So now let's talk about um, just doing a really quick um, walkthrough of creating your first um, funnel or just your first capture page. So in the last video, I created a test or tagets, whatever it is I was spell I was spelling there. Let's go over to edit and we went through the capture pages so I'm just gonna choose one and uh, let's see I think I will choose this one this is pretty simple I'm gonna hit use template and it's gonna make you save the name of the page so we save the name of the funnel which is all whatever it is that you're gonna add to that funnel now we're gonna save the name to the individual page so I'm just gonna say first first page and I'm going to hit for my slug, it's also going to be first page or page. All right, and then I'm going to hit save page. And then what I want to do is I want to edit it. So I'm going to go click here and then I'm going to hit edit. It's still my test one funnel and padow. It's bringing up the opt-in page that we chose. Now you can change pretty much everything in here. You can change the background image, um, but let me show you first how are you going to put a background image in there. It's not as easy as just hitting change background because you have to actually add your images in MLSP. It's not going to pull from your, um, from your uh, Windows uh, photos. So you're going to go over to, um, I believe it's settings and then go over to media and you're going to hit add new image and I'm going to just put first page as my image name and I'm going to hit choose file and we'll just find uh, some sort of random picture uh, we'll use this one it has to be a certain file size so just take note of this size I usually use PicMonkey if I need to uh, adjust my size and hit upload image and if it doesn't upload it's because nine times out of ten it's because your file is too big all right so then what we're going to do is we're going to go back now that it's in there you see it's right here we're going to go back to our page that we were editing and we're going to go to background image here on the side and now we're going to hit change background and i'm going to go over there and find the image that I had used that are pulled down and put out. So obviously this is just for test purposes, right? So uh, it's really, really big, but that's okay. We're just using it for test purposes. So now I want to change the text. Everything is um, on site change. So you don't have to do anything. If I want to say um, free coffee, <laughs> for everyone something silly like that and hit join me on my coffee webinar right I can change the color of the text because my background is kind of drowning it out and if you look up here it brings up a little box I want the uh, foreground color and let's see, let's change it to just sort of a deeper color. Okay, and my opt-in box, I usually don't change too much except maybe the text here. I don't want get free lifetime access. I'm gonna say, if you click over here to the side, I'm gonna say, yes, give me some coffee, right? And the integrations, if you scroll down here to edit my integrations, you would have, now see I have Aweber. You always wanna pick whatever you, whatever you added and I'll, I'm gonna actually, you're gonna go through, go through the video, the funnelizer videos in order to add, find out how you're gonna add your autoresponder. But if you don't have an autoresponder, then you're gonna make sure you definitely, even if you do, you always wanna choose both. My Lead System Pro, right just put no uh, label add new integration and then I would choose my Aweber and that's going to bring up all of my um, it's going to bring up all of my 
my list that I have in my Aweber list, okay? And then you just hit close. And so anytime somebody clicks on that, it's not only gonna go through my Aweber list, and I'm gonna get a notification because of the way I set up my Aweber, but it's also gonna go through MLSP, which is really great for the leaderboards. Um, you know that you're you having you're having traffic going through MLSP um, leaderboard or MLSP um, I don't know what you call it list we'll say list so everything here is customizable this is an easy one you can change the color of your button as well uh, let's see I want a solid color and let's make it red and let's make my border like that so it gives it like a shadow so you can pretty much change anything you want if I want to change this text up here maybe just change the color so it stands out more um, you can make you can make it bigger right for font size extra large actually for whatever reason I'm going to use default yeah because it made it smaller that's the only thing I don't get but anyways, you can pretty much change anything that you need to change for these capture pages. So take advantage of that. Once you do, um, I'm not going to publish that, but what I'll do is I'll go to one of my existing uh, pages. So we're going to close editor. <clears throat> Once you do, you're going to hit publish the funnel. And then you will go to, I'll pick the ones that I'm running. Um, get your URL and once your funnel is done it's gonna you're gonna promote this URL so that's the URL that you're gonna be sending to people are sharing with people on your social media or through email or however it is that you're talking to someone you can do your um, you can create your own sales page for your for your company for your um, opportunity and share that link with people so if people say yeah I want to know about your business don't just send them to a raw um, your raw company um, replicated website or training video if in fact really you shouldn't really just be sending links anyway you want to create you want to make appointments for people and so that you can walk people through the video but if nothing else make sure you're capturing their information before they get before they get access before they can have access your this link is gold to you all right it's to your opportunity it's to your products it's gold to you so don't just give it away freely to anybody now if somebody goes in and they click on it and they don't want to enter that information in order to get to the presentation that you have for them so that's going to tell them more about your business then they're not a good prospect you don't want them anyway so you want the people who are actually going to take action put their information in because they want it bad enough to know what's on the other side so that they can find out what your opportunity is those are the kind of people that you want that's how you qualify people and you you save so much time when you get rid of the tire kickers so instead of just sending them to a YouTube video of your company presentations you make sure you qualify make sure you're qualifying them so that they will put their information in and you know that if they do and you'll you'll get a notification from MLSP saying that they did that they went through it that means that prospect is all the more that's a hot prospect they they want what you have they're interested they're curious about what you have now um, when it comes to network marketing training like I said I train my team not to just give the link away without doing an appointment first they have to create an appointment if they don't want to do the appointment then they're not a good lead um, bye bye for now right <laughs> see you later I don't need you I'm looking for people who want to be in my business or who want to buy my products so but that's another training um, um, yeah so I got off I got on a little tangent there but you get the point you can create your own capture pages through um, funnelizer you don't have to pay a third-party company or or website in order to create um, funnels like this all right so that is it for the funnelizer make sure you go through that training as well that's going to give you more information and more understanding it'll give you more spend that time giving you that step by step um, of building a funnelizer um, capture page okay so that's it i will see you in the next video bye bye for now